Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we defeated Grand Falloon, we went to the very bottom of the castle, and we explored an um, interesting area and got the Spike Breaker Armor, which is going to be pretty useful. So let's continue. In this episode, we're going to have a little bit of map marking to do and an item to get, but we'll try to make it somewhat interesting. What I'm going to try to do is make it up to the teleporter, and I may do a cut for you. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and teleport over to the entrance, and I'll meet you there. Now that we're at the entrance, I'm going to go ahead and possibly cut and meet you in the underground caverns near where we first saw the ferryman. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and s let the ferryman do its thing because it's going to be a little slow and I don't feel like dealing with it. We only need to take care of one area towards the end here. And there's something here I do want to show off. Alright, we need to get these rooms over here. And down here is a very difficult enemy. It's not too bad, but he does have a lot of like, HP. And that takes care of this area. There's nothing really over here that we need to get. Not like it's Merida. Merida, I think it is in Super Metroid, so no worries. I'm making a lot of Super Metroid references in this Let's Play. This game reminds me of Super Metroid for some reason. I think it's because of the map. Another area we're going to visit pretty soon is, uh, if we can get back to this, there's another area by the waterfall that we haven't gotten everything there yet either, so give me just a moment and we'll head over there. Okay, this is where we were going to head, and remember there's a few sections here we didn't get earlier. So let's go up to the top. I'm going to show this on screen because there's kind of a tricky way to get the, uh, the rest of these rooms. And this will be easier to show. All you want to do is go to the edge of this waterfall and kind of double jump and go to the edge. And you'll get the secret boots here. And you want to go a little higher and get this edge in here. Well, it didn't work as planned, but that's okay. There's two areas here we need to get, so let's go try to get those one more time. And I'll show what the secret boots do off in a second. This might be kind of a boring episode, and I do apologize for that. That's one thing about a 200% run, or a full map run, is that it can get somewhat boring. But we'll try. The best way to get the map sometimes is just to go as a bat, and just kind of follow the wall as near as you can. There it goes. Now that we've got that covered, we need to go over to Olrox's quarters, so I'll meet you there. Okay, welcome to Olrox's quarters. Okay, now that we're over here, look towards the top of the screen. 
And once we get right underneath where Olorox was... I do not want that, I want the axe. Right here... There we go. Up here we have the sword card. And I'm going to put the bat away for a while. Because I'd like to equip the sword card. The sword card equips the sword familiar. And the sword familiar at early levels doesn't really do much. And if I neglect you to mention, familiars have levels. Just like Alucard does from 1 to 99. In the early levels, the Sword Familiar does not have very much ability. He just kind of floats around and randomly hits. But when he gets stronger, past level 50, he becomes very powerful. So that's why I'm going to keep him around for a little while. And I want to go back up here to the Royal Chapel because there's an area we did not get to yet. And the Sword Familiar may help me out a little bit. There, there we go. You can see what the sword familiar does there. He swirls around and hits, and that's pretty cool. Useful. So that was a little bit of magic there. I'll go over the magic later. But I won't deal with it now. What I want to do now, since we have all these spikes, is to equip the spike breaker. And we want to pass this mist. Oh, by the way, the spike breaker is mist. You can still break spikes, and that's pretty cool. How about you, spikes? So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. Th that can't be true! You're wrong! I, I, I must go now! So, there's a little more to the story than we led on. A little bit something interesting about Marichter, because Maria gets told that Richter's the lord of the castle, Maria doesn't believe it. Maria thinks there's something wrong with this. There could be. And we also got another item. Also wanted to show off the boots. Um, the boots that we got, the secret boots, they don't do anything. They're just like a joke that the developers put in there. So it's nothing we really want to do anything with. But we got the gold ring earlier. It says, wear clock. And the silver ring says, in tower. So if you see here, it says, wear in clock tower. So it's giving us a hint to wear the silver ring and the gold ring at the same time in the clock tower. And which we'll, we will do that soon enough. I'm going to equip the walk armor again. There we are. How about you, hunting girl? We're getting stronger. Alright, I'm going to cut ahead this part a little bit, and I will... Hopefully meet you at the end of this area where we can teleport.
All right. Thank you so much. Now we're at the long library. Or near the long library, near the outer wall. All right. Now we're at the outer wall near the long library. And what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way down to the clock tower. I know I skipped money. I'm not going to deal with it just yet. By the way, here's a secret area I didn't show off. This is just a library card and attack potion. I'm gonna go ahead and get a room off screen that I'm missing and then I'll meet you in the clock tower. Alright, now we're in the clock tower, so what did we need to do? We needed to equip the silver ring and the gold ring. It doesn't matter which finger each one goes on, so let's do that. opened up a secret area. Let's go check it out. Hmm. There's a save point here. I don't want to save just yet. Let's see what's this way. Ooh, a life max up. And a heart max up. I'll take it. Any secrets? Nope, no secrets. Take the elevator down. Right, this is very ominous, isn't it? Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here. Take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. Interesting. So there's something going on with Richter. And what we've got to do is use the goggles that we just got, and I'll show those to you in a second. The goggles that we got. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip this, by the way. Mm, let's use the... Try to think what I want to use. Let's, let's go back to the bloodstone. Although, yeah. Well, anyways, the goggles that we got, by the way, the holy glasses... Seize beyond magical curses. What could that have to do with anything? Well, we'll find out soon enough.
Alrighty then. This concludes this episode of Let's Play Symphony of the Night. This is your Let's Player, William. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.